the importance of the dog focusing on its trainer or the person walking it cannot be overemphasized. And here we've got an example of Dom, uh, of pack leader, working with little Sid, a spaniel. And uh, what, what I want you to notice is just how the dog will be focused onto Dominic as he's doing things. If the dog's focus moves onto something else, Dom will move and get its attention back on him. So despite the fact there are other dogs, rooks, all sorts roaming around this area where we're working now, you'll see, hopefully see, the dog's um, unwavering focus on Dominic. So here we are, Dominic moving to and fro, holding the dog's attention. Every now and again throwing the toy for the dog, otherwise the dog will start to think, what's in this for me? He's got the leash there for great aid to, to, to keep control over the dog. Um, not in any way doing anything um, harsh with the dog, just merely keeping it under his control, under his influence. Look at the focus from that little dog there as it's looking at him, waiting for him to throw that toy. The thing is, Dom would be able to put that toy in his pocket, or hide it, or not even have it with him, as long as occasionally this game gets practiced. So the dog learns that, yes, it might get the toy, but the reason it gets the toy is the person interacting him with it. So this then serves when we're out walking the dog to keep the dog, the dog's attention on its handler. We cannot overemphasize the importance of having dogs focused on their owners. The Dangerous Dog Act is, is starting to make dog ownership almost a dangerous thing for a person. If you can't call your dog back and it annoys other people, um, you, you, you know, you're on a slippery slide. And simply by becoming more interesting to your dog, instead of encouraging other dogs to be your dog's entertainment source, you bought your dog, you have responsibility, you become its entertainment.